professors kept telling me that the things that I was interested in were all going to pass and that I would become just like them. As you can see, I haven't. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, I am a drama professor. All right? All I ever wanted to do in my life was be an actor. And so I, I came to Pittsburgh, ironically, to get a master's in existential phenomenological psychology from Duquesne University because I thought that was as close to acting as you could get in psychology. And of course, it had such an impact that nowadays, when I'm introduced, people usually say I have a degree in extrasensual psychology. <laughs> to which I, my response is usually, one, if only. <laughs> and second, I'm not sure I want a degree in extrasensual anything from a Catholic school. <laughs> but it brought me to Pittsburgh, which is a town that I fell in love with. I'm a cliche. I'm an Italian from the Italian ghetto of Brooklyn, New York. I mean, I, I, the fact that I got out of there and I'm not in prison is, is really quite an accomplishment uh, for my ilk. But I came to Pittsburgh in 75 and fell in love with the place because it had a personality. It was some weird place. I mean, you know, taking an incline to hop on a trolley car was like, wow, this is a time warp. And so I fell in love with Pittsburgh, realized that psychology wasn't for me, went to the University of Pittsburgh, got my doctorate in theater, and then I lucked out. I went to Carnegie Mellon University, first as the assistant.